is our next guest, the second he walks out. But can you tell who he is just by listening to him? He was City TV's voice back in 1974. Take a look. CITY, Channel 79, Cable 7, Toronto. Oh, yes, that's funny man Dan Aykroyd, and he's having a to sit in a little, uh, they had a, a little shock box for me to sit in. It was like, you know, just kind of, you know, like a slot. And I would just bang off the commercials and bang off the voice over, you know, sit there for three hours and do it. It's wow. great. It was my first job. Listen, well, you were you know. here to talk a little bit about, it's a big anniversary, a couple of big anniversaries. Um, but we're here to talk about the 50th anniversary of the Caesar. Canada's national drink. Can yes, you believe it? Yes, and they love them. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting story. And, and um, in, uh, in uh, the, I think it was uh, about 30 years ago or so, uh, 50 years ago, we're at 50, yeah, yeah, 50 years ago. I was thinking the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, we're celebrating that, 50th anniversary Caesar, but a guy named Walter Chell at a hotel in Alberta uh, tasted the vongole sauce in a pasta and, and said, wow, I like the kind of the flavor here. And he invented the Caesar because it had clam juice in it. And of right. course, the only way you make a Caesar is with Mott's Clamato. And, and yeah. Americans don't know about Caesars. We have to instruct them how to do it. What do but, they do? Uh, they do a they use Mary. tomato juice. You're going to teach me how to make one. Well, because yeah, out of all the drinks that I, lo I love to drink, I drink Caesars probably the least. So show me how to make a Caesar the Dan Aykroyd way. Uh, well, uh, you know, first of all, uh, we, we use the Mott's Clamato Rimmer, which is really, it's like a nice kind of uh, a, a, a beverage Beautiful. salt. First of all, we'll take the uh, the Crystal Head Vodka, which is the smell that. It was a good year, everyone. <laughs> smell that? Yeah. See, that Very smells like year. that smells like alcohol. It smells like heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want a little, right. just, no, just you try. go for it. I'm gonna get. Not fired. a shot. Just. Yeah, just take a little tipple. Maybe a little. <laughs> Nobody works harder to make. Oh, it's very good. I know because the water from mm. Newfoundland. We truck it. <laughs> we truck it from Chatham, Kent. Yeah. We go on the ferry. We take it across. We marry the the mash and the water of Newfoundland, and then yeah. back out of the market. We care about the value in the vodka. We care about the vodka. We, we do, we do. Yeah. So we pour that in there like that. Yeah, it tastes good. It, yeah, because there's no additives in it. Okay. And then uh, there's you some put lemon. A li lemon juice. That would work well. Okay. And then uh, the sauces, of course, you've got your uh, Worcestershire sauce, which is the traditional Caesar Oops. Um, additive. Yeah. A couple of sprigs of that. Then Just we a have bit. Tabasco. Okay. All right, a little bit of that Give there. Because heat. you want, well, after the winter we've had, don't we need a little spice oh. and heat? Yes! Good. God! Yes! That's why, that's the glass it's here, okay. And then we want to put the Mott's Clamato in and so come up right there like that. All the way up, all to the way top up like that. Like the that. Clamato. That's good. Oh, that's good. And um, maybe a little bit of this. Uh, well, no, that's later. Here. That's at the end. Then we have a Matt, we have a Matt <laughs> and uh, Steve's Extreme Bean. That'll oh, is get, that yeah. what these are? That's, there we go, like okay. that. Okay. Give it a little bit of that. Mm. Uh, yeah. I'm the only one drinking it. I, 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 love, I love Caesars because they're like, it's like food. It's you know? like a meal. And oh, then we say. have a, uh, just because it's the golden anniversary, we've got a, uh, a, little a, lemon. a lemon wedge. And are we just trying to be fancy a, here? Uh, uh, put, put the rosemary in too, because when you're drinking it, you'll smell the, the, the nose of the rosemary. Oh, it's beautiful. So, so you Ooh, see all of the ingredients. Spark it up. It's yeah. getting lit in here, everybody. This is. It's gonna uh, go. It takes a while. Yeah. Oh. I love it. That's so good. Come on. You're almost what happened? there. No, it's, it's gonna do it. Here we go. Cheers, baby. Happy 50th anniversary to Caesar! Yeah! This is actually the only way to eat it. This is the it only is, way yeah. to eat, drink a Caesar, right? It's you dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. Bartenders all over Toronto, are they going to be doing this today? Uh, I don't know. Today? No, no, I don't know. I think they should try it. So listen, let's talk about the other big anniversary then. You mentioned yeah. Ghostbusters. 35, 35 anniversary. years <laughs> for Ghostbusters. I just... I want to go back. There you are, little baby Dan. I want to go back to. Uh, yeah, that's me. Just little baby Dan. Yes, that's yes, yes. Baby. Before I drank vodka. <laughs> I want to go back to just 
the writing behind Ghostbusters. This was initiated by you because you actually have a haunted farmhouse in Kingston, Ontario. Is my, this true? My great-grandfather Sam was a dentist in Kingston and he was the reviewer of all the psychic acts that came through town. And okay. at that time of the of the century, in the early 20s, there were a lot of people going around pretending to be mediums. Yeah. You know, and some of them were genuine, some of them weren't. Uh, some of them could go into a full trance and draw spirits from the other side or consciousness of loved ones. Some of them were fakes. And he was the guy who kind of sorted out the fakes from the real thing. Okay. And he kept journals. And we took his notes, and I read his notes, and and over the years just uh, took it as inspiration and wrote Ghostbusters from that. My father was into the research, my grandfather wow. was a Bell Telephone engineer. Yeah. He was looking at high vibrating crystals that could try to reach the other world, you see. He was all interested in that. So it's kind of the family business, honestly. It is yeah. ghosts. And yeah. it served you really well because there may be, there's another one coming up. Oh, Jason right? Reitman has written a beautiful script. It's, oh, I'm really, that. really excited about it. Yeah. Okay, well we're all going to be watching that uh, yeah, for be good. sure. I want to talk quickly about just the world of comedy. Here, Let's have a little. Uh, well, yeah. Get the okay. Can you come to the show every day? Mm. Yeah. What's your favorite food to pair with the Caesar? I like. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Like, um, I would say, you know, like a cheese charcuterie plate. Mm. Kind of thing, you know, cheese, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Crackers and cheese. Guys, and I might be a convert. This is really good. It is. I'm gonna have to put the glass down now. Because the vodka doesn't overpower, and the clamato uh, works so well together with the vodka. So. Before we let you go, um, we want to know who Dan Aykroyd thinks is very funny right now in the comedy world. Is there anyone up and coming uh, that you're loving? Oh, I well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a big Will Ferrell fan. I love all the nice. new kids on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. My Ghostbusters ladies, Kate McKinnon, yes. Leslie Jones, yes. and, uh, you know, Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig. Wonderful. They did a great job on that picture. I was really happy with it. I fault myself for being a producer. I should have been watching the costs a little better. But now we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do one that uh, that people are gonna love and everybody's gonna see. And uh, and, and uh, you know, but I love those ladies. They're great. Good for you. Well, we love you. Give it up for Dan Aykroyd, everyone. <laughs>